Hello my dear viewers, welcome again to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion. For the new viewers, kindly subscribe my channel by clicking the button subscribe. Our presentation in this video will discuss the topic earthquake, which covers the lessons, definition of earthquake, types of earthquake, and effects of earthquake. Just sit back and relax while watching and listening my discussion. So, let's start. Definition of earthquake is the shaking or the vibration of the surface of the earth resulting from a sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. It is also defined as a sudden and violent shaking of the ground, sometimes causing great destruction as a result of movements within the Earth's crust or volcanic action. Seismic waves are produced when some form of energy stored in the Earth's crust is suddenly released, usually when masses of rocks straining against one another suddenly fracture and slip. Earthquakes occur most often along geologic faults, narrow zones, where rock masses move in relation to one another. The major fault lines of the world are located at the fringes of the huge tectonic plates that make up Earth's crust. Earthquakes have varied effects, including changing in the geologic features, damage to man-made structures, an impact on human and animal life. Most of these effects occur on solid ground, but since most earthquake focus are actually located under the ocean bottom, severe effects are often observed along the margins of the oceans. Before we start our discussion, we need to know what are those important terms to remember as we go on with our lesson. First is crust. Crust, the outermost layer of the earth. The earth's crust is a thin shell on the outside of the earth, accounting for less than 1% of earth's volume. It is the top component of lithosphere, a division of Earth's layers that includes the crust and the upper part of the mantle. Next is fault. Fault is a fracture along which the crust has moved. Fault in geology, a planar or gently curved fracture in the rocks of Earth's crust where compressional or tensional forces cause relative displacement of the rocks on the opposite sides of the fracture. Fault can be seen not only in continental crust but also in the oceanic crust. Types of fault, reverse fault, normal fault, and strike slip fault. The next term is Focus. Focus the exact site of the origin of an earthquake below the epicenter. It is also known as hypocenter. An earthquake's focus is the position where the strain energy stored in the rock is first released, marking the point where the fault begins to rupture. This is the point of origin of an earthquake. In seismology, it is a synonym of hypocenter. The term hypocenter is also used as a synonym for ground zero, the surface point directly beneath a nuclear airburst. Next term is epicenter, is the location on the Earth's surface directly above the focus of an earthquake. The epicenter in seismology is the point on the Earth's surface directly above a hypocenter or focus. The point where an earthquake or an underground explosion originates. In most earthquakes, the epicenter is the point where the greatest damage takes place. 
there are different types of earthquakes. These are the tectonic earthquake, volcanic earthquake, collapse earthquake, and explosion earthquake. The type of earthquake depends on the region where it occurs and the geological makeup of that region. The most common type of earthquake is tectonic quake. Now, let us proceed to the natural types of earthquakes. First is tectonic. It is defined as earthquakes produced by a sudden movement along faults and plate boundaries. And the second one is volcanic earthquake, defined as produced by movement of magma beneath volcanoes. Now, let us have the discussion with the tectonic earthquake. An earthquake which has the sudden movement of Earth's crust. Earthquakes occur along fault lines, cracks in Earth's crust where tectonic plates meet. These plates are capable of moving slowly and gradually. The movement of these plates occurs in different forms towards each other away from each other and sliding past with each other or colliding with each other. Tectonic quakes are the most prevalent kinds of earthquakes in the world. Its magnitude may be small or large. Tectonic earthquakes has caused most of the planet's mass destruction. The two types of crust are oceanic crust and continental crust. Now, let us proceed to volcanic earthquake. A volcano tectonic earthquake is an earthquake caused by the movement of magma beneath the surface of the earth. The movement results in pressure changes where the rock around the magma has experienced stress. At some point, the stress can cause the rock to break or move. Compared to tectonic earthquakes, volcanic earthquakes are less prevalent. They typically take place before or after an eruption. Volcanic earthquakes come in two forms, long-period volcanic earthquakes and volcano tectonic earthquakes. Volcanic tectonic Earthquakes usually happen after a volcanic eruption. During an earthquake, magma erupts from inside the Earth's crust, leaving a space behind. The space left after magma eruption must be filled. To fill it, rocks move towards the space, resulting in severe earthquakes. Next type of earthquake is collapse earthquake. A collapse earthquake are small earthquakes in underground caverns and mines that are caused by seismic waves produced from the explosion of rock on the surface. This kind of earthquakes are generally smaller and most commonly occur near underground mines. They are sometimes referred to as mine burst. Collapse earthquakes are instigated by the pressure generated within the rocks. This kind of earthquake leads to the collapse of the roof of the mine, instigating more tremors. Collapse earthquakes are prevalent in small towns where underground mines are located. Okay, the last type of earthquake is explosion earthquake. An explosion earthquake is an earthquake the result of the detonation of a nuclear and or chemical device. An explosion earthquake are caused by nuclear explosions. They are essentially man-triggered kind of earthquakes and represent the biggest impact of modern day nuclear war. During the 1930s nuclear test conducted by the United States, Numerous small towns and villages were devastated as a result of this grave act. Again, let us have the recap of the different types of earthquakes. 
Tectonic earthquakes occur when rocks in the Earth's crust break due to geological forces created by movement of tectonic plates. Volcanic earthquakes occur in conjunction with volcanic activity. Another one is explosive earthquakes result from the explosion of nuclear and chemical devices. And the last one, collapsed earthquakes are small earthquakes in underground caverns and mines. Effects of earthquake First is damage to buildings. Next one. Damage to infrastructures. Another effect of an earthquake are rock slides and landslides. This will result also to floods. Earthquake can trigger tsunamis. And also, earthquake leads to liquefaction. And it ends for now. Hope that you liked and learned from my discussion. To stay up to date with my latest videos and cool educational discussions, Make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel Science Time Discussion by clicking the button. Thank you very much. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share my channel. Have a blessed day everyone.